Sundiata Keita, Lion King of Mali, ruled for 25 years, founder of the Mali Empire in West Africa. This is a story of Sundiata Keita, the Lion King. Much of the information about Sundiata come from stories that were passed down through storytellers, who are known as griots. Most of the information known about him are believed to be legends because the history was not recorded through writings. Griots originated during the 13th century in the Manti Empire of Mali. They are storytellers, singers, and musicians. They keep records of all births, deaths, and marriages through generations of the villages. They tell their story through music or poetry to maintain the culture. They were the historians. Sundiata Keita's father, King Keita, was a handsome Mandinka king, and he ruled Mali. King Keita was visited by a divine hunter. The hunter predicted if the king married an ugly woman, which would soon appear, she would give birth to a son that will one day become a powerful king. King Kieta was already married and had a son. He contemplated having another wife. However, an ugly hunchback woman appeared and King Kieta married her and later they gave birth to a son, Sundiata Kieta. Sundiata could not walk or talk. He walked on all fours. King Kieta wasn't very happy with his son. King Kieta wanted his son to one day become a king. Because Sundiata was crippled, the king wasn't confident in him. However, King Kieta honored the prophecy that one day Sundiata will rule. Mali was a growing kingdom. The Soso people ruled Mali. Sundiata was kidnapped as a child. Sundiata didn't allow his disability to overtake his life. So he began to exercise, and after a few years, he built his body strength up to the point that he learned to walk. Sunnyetta's strength and determination turned into power. Sunnyetta took his newfound strength, and he escaped from his enemy's control. Sundiata was determined to force the Soso out of Mali. The people of Mali were suffering under the Soso rule. Sundiata heard how Soso charged the people of Mali high taxes for their personal gain. Sundiata planned to take over Mali, but he needed the manpower, so he gathered an army. Sundiata planned and executed an attack and won several victories. But the biggest victory came when he met the king of Soso on the battlefield. Sundiata was faced with his biggest challenge, but he defeated the king of Soso during the Battle of Karan, Sundiata conquered the king of Sosa with a poisonous arrow. Sundiata's victory allowed him to take full control of the gold and salt mines. Sundiata transferred the Mali Empire into a rich and powerful kingdom. Sundiata ruled for many years. 